Hi there. In this video, you are going to learn about three DAX functions. That means closing balance month, closing balance quarter, and also we are going to discuss about closing balance year. But before going further for the demo part, let's first have a look what are these, what is their definition, syntax, as well as their returning value. For the very first closing balance month, as you can see on your screen, it's going to evaluate the specified expression for the date corresponding to the end of the current month after applying specified filters. This text function is very useful when you are working in the banking or anything related to payroll or statistics, something like that. Its syntax is pretty simple. You just have to write closing balance month, then your expression then date and if there is any filter that you would like to apply you can use that as well it's going to return a single value of any type a scalar value that represents the expression evaluated at the last date of the month in the current context however you should remember over here that in order to use any time intelligence calculation you need a well-formed date table and that means your table always should start from the 1st of January and ends at the 31st of December. It can have either a single year or multiple year. There should be no dates missing and always don't forget to mark it as date table. Now let's move forward and check for the closing balance quarter. It's very much similar to the closing balance month. And also guys, please remember that in the demo part, we would also see the opening balance month, opening balance quarter and opening balance year as well. In case of closing balance quarter, we are going to consider the quarter. That means at the end of the quarter, we are going to calculate the total. In case of year, we are going to consider the year. That means the context is going to be year rather than individual month or quarter. So this one is for the year. Where you can see that closing balance here is our dex function then you have to write your expression then dates filter and also you have to provide the year and date at last now we are going to have a look at the demo part where i have one code that we are going to execute but before going to execute that we are going to get you know how i have created that one so let's head over to dex.do website and try to execute that one over here, you can see that first I'm defining my measures. The very first measure is sales YTD, which is checking sales amount. Sales amount is nothing. It's just the total sales amount where I'm using some DAX function. So this is going to give me sales amount. So on your left hand side, you can see that there's a sales table. Under the sales table, there's a sales amount measure. And this is going to be exactly the same that I'm using over here. And then I'm using dates YTD over here. So what this dates YTD is going to return me? Well, guys, as you know that we have different time intelligence tax functions and date YTD is one of them. It's going to return a set of the dates in the year up to the last date visible in the filter context. It's going to return a table containing a single column of date values. So this is going to help us to calculate the sales YTD. Now, as I mentioned to you earlier, we are going to use both closing and opening in case of month, quarter and year. So I have written down all my measures over here. Let's discuss one for the month, then quarter and year are going to be the same. So the very first, in case of the closing balance month, you can see that first I'm calculating opening balance month. So it's just a difference of your DAX function that you are going to use over here. And here again, I'm going to use my sales YTD as my base measure. And then I'm using date date, which is going to be added over here in order to complete the syntax over here. So as I mentioned you previously, syntax is simply first you have to write your expression, expression over here this measure, then you have to write your dates and then you can mention the filters as well which is optional if you really want to but we really don't want over here. So that's all we are going to calculate over here, opening balance month, closing balance month, same goes for the quarter and in case of year if you really would like to add one end of the year filter as well you can do that. So in case of year we have this closing balance year and opening balance here. So that's how I'm calculating all measures over here. That means the closing balance month, opening balance month, closing balance quarter, opening balance quarter, and lastly, closing balance year and opening balance year. 
And at last, I'm going to evaluate my all the measures that I have created and I want to see them in a table. That's why I'm using calculate table and summarize column dex functions over here. And then I'm also applying a filter where I need all the dates which are basically going to be less than equals to 2007 That means September 2007. Now after writing then you can simply execute it. Now here as you can see that this is going to be my calendar year month number. Then my sales. Then my sales YTD. Then sales opening balance month. Then closing balance month. Then opening balance quarter because first quarter is going to be null. Then it's going to start from the second one. And similarly over here for the opening balance year and closing balance year. You can see all the measures are being calculated over here. That's all guys for this video. In case you have any question and concern, please don't forget to connect with us. And if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. See you in the next video.